So good morning. I just got out the shower. I gave myself a deep condition. I put um, conditioner all over my hair, silicone free conditioner for natural hair all over all over. And I um, put a plastic cap over my head. These little plastic shower caps that come 12 in a pack. I put one of those over my head. And um, I let the um, conditioner sit. And the heat from my brain um, wet the hair uh, throughout the night. I just wore it overnight. And um, once I got up the next morning, I rinsed all of that conditioner out that sat overnight. Then I took that same conditioner and I washed twice with it with warm water and rinsed it out. And then I put some more conditioner in my hair for the third time and I rinsed that out with cold water. And then I just held my head up on it. I think all the conditioner came out, but if it didn't, it's just um just like leave in conditioner. I don't have to leave a leave I don't have to use a leave in conditioner. And while I was in the shower, I took some olive oil, put it in, in my hands, and rubbed it, and then put it all over my hair. And the shine and the glistening that you may see <coughs> may be from the olive oil that sealed the moisture in, in the hair. But uh, the warm water was to open the pores, the cold water was to close the pores, and the olive oil was to seal the moisture in the hair. Now I'm going to uh, lay down my edges. And once you finish, come out of the shower and do all that, you can use a alcohol-free gel to set your curls. And I'll be doing that. Right now I'm just going to lay my edges down before I set my curls. I use three products to do my hair. Conditioner, olive oil, and gel. That's the only three products I use. My conditioner runs me roughly around uh, $5 and some change. My uh, gels usually run $3.99. And um, the olive oil varies in price. You can get it from a dollar up to $16. It's just really... Um, or maybe even more. It just really uh, depends on how much you want to spend on any of your products depending on which ones you decide to get. You read the back of your conditioners to make sure that they're silicone free. And some, condi some conditioners have it on the front of the bottle that is sil silicone free. Don't forget to use an alcohol-free gel. Right now I have gel on my hands and I'm putting it on my hair like you put on a perm and then I'm combing it through. This is a this is what you call a wash and go. And what I did earlier with the warm water and then the cold water is what you call a cold wash. Like my hair did not start up off like this. I had hair just like everybody else. And I, I didn't have curly hair when I was a little girl. The conditioner, the oil, and the gel caused my hair to curl up like this. I'm not one of those girls that were born with good hair. Last time I had curly hair was when I was a baby. 
and now at my at the age I am now I only had this type of hair for six to seven months I can't guarantee you the same results as mine but what I can do is tell you to do what I did and maybe you'll come out with the same results silicone free conditioner olive oil any brand gel any brand as long as it's alcohol free I don't want to confuse you with a whole lot of products because you can watch several videos and one person using this conditioner, one person using this gel, one person using this, one person using that. So I'm going to keep it simple. Alcohol free gel, silicone free conditioner, olive oil, not mineral oil, olive oil on your hair. Comb your hair with your fingers so it will not mess up the curl pattern of your hair don't use comb or brushes do like I'm doing exactly like I'm doing if you uh, condition your hair for several weeks if you look up the curly girl method it'll tell you it take a few weeks for your hair becomes completely hydrated and what it means that your hair will hold in all that moisture and your hair becomes a different texture comes softer and it begins to hold curls and waves like this I had a few waves when I first started and I was very excited when I saw them but the more and more I did my hair the better my waves began to look the deeper they began to look but as you can see it takes the gel to activate the waves this is soft from the conditioner I don't have that nappy kinky hair anymore but it's soft and it has some some definition of curved waves in it but it takes the gel to bring it out like that that's what we call defining all curls it's worth trying even if you don't get these results that I get it's worth trying some your results may be better than mine if you seen some other girls on these videos their hair was like everybody else hair but then when they start using this method they have that soft deep wavy hair and as they grow grew it just got better and better and the longer they did it the better their hair got See, I got this rough texture, and this is this is my results. You don't know your curl pattern unless you try it. Comb, smooth. That's what I'm doing. Combing and smoothing. and I do put color in my hair because I was a premature gray child and now that I'm older uh, it just look like I'm older with gray hair so I, I color my hair at least once a month and it only shows at the roots when it starts growing out the ends are permanently colored
and it's almost time for another one that's why I mention it you probably can't see it too good but there is some gray hair there not quite ready yet I let it grow out at least about an inch before I color it and all they're doing is and my hair is just getting longer every time I dye it that's more hair than growed out and you can see the length of my hair growing because I do have gray hair see I don't know if you can see that it's just a little bit from there to there it makes my parts look big but it's really the hair is white and it doesn't show up that good on the uh, the video I'm gonna go this way with it I like to do my edges first so when I finish my hair my edges will be already done. That's why I did my edges first. The reason I do my hair like this most of the time, when my hair was long, I used to wear my hair combed to the side like this. And right now I'm training my wavy hair or my curly hair to start to fall that way, the way my perm hair feels. So when my hair does grow long and starts to uh, show its length as it grows longer, then my curls will be big, deep, long curls and it'll be falling from the side and still at the middle, you know, because I look better with my, fall, my hair falling to the side. I live with it long enough to know that's my best look. Not going back, not um, parting in the middle but fall into the side like this and then maybe some will fall in my face depending on the length of it that's as it grows going to turn to see could you see the back I don't know how perfect the curls are in the back because I can't see the back unless I um, turn this off and see it
but right now I consider myself finished with my hair and it's been like 15 minutes and I'm finished it doesn't take long to do curly hair talk to you later bye